Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and today is Sunday, so it's time for Scrap Lift Afternoon, a hop where me and some of my friends get together, find a layout that inspires us, and scrap lift it. So today's is this super cool layout by Kiwi Girl Scraps. She is on Instagram and her information will be linked below in the description box, so please go check her out. She used the Simple Stories Good Stuff Collection, so I am going to do that too. That was what drew me to this um, layout, and I ended up using all of my papers up. And so I found this 4 by 6 or the 6 by 8 paper pad at Tuesday morning and bought it to go with all my embellishments that I still had left over. I have these fabulous pictures of me when I got my hair done back in 2010. Uh, circa 13 years ago, all right. And so she used a die cut, and I'm going to go back and hunt down. She told me where she got it. I will go and hunt that down and look for it, uh, put that in the description below. Um, if it's not there, ask me, and <laughs> I'll go find it if I forget. So um, anyway, I cut mine on my Cricut. So I'm going to use the little insides to help me with the proper sizing for everything. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, so I have my papers, my embellishments, my Cricut cuts, my pictures, and this layout. So let's see how this goes. So I am going to put this on a 12 by 12 white cardstock, which is what she uses as well. And um, it was not... Uh, as easy as I was hoping it would be. However, I knew it wasn't going to be because, um, you know, you're working with filling in die cuts and cutting pictures and things like that. So um, I think that's why I put it off a little longer than I wanted to, but that's okay. Uh, you can definitely make this as easy or as hard as you want. Uh, egg shape is not necessarily the easiest, although it fit best for the pictures. And I am perfectly thrilled with the way it turned out. I have a few moments where I get a little fluster graded, uh, but nothing like um, earlier this month when I was doing geometry at one o'clock in the morning. So um, yeah. So first things first, I got my pictures done because I wanted to make sure I had the proper um, the circles or ovals or whatever for that because they needed to be the bigger ones. And then I have one larger one for um, what I was planning to be an extension of my title. Um, and then the smaller ones. And one of the smaller ones I matted on um, or I cut out from a lined paper. And so I would have a journaling spot in one of them, which I um, do actually do. So I'm going to pull out some colors to splatter. I start with some shiny stuff with some shimmer spray by Delusions, um, Diane Reevely in Pure Sunshine, and then go into Picked Raspberry and finish up with some Uncharted Mariner. Um, both the last two are Distressed Oxides by Tim Holtz. I am going to bring more in because once I lay everything down, a lot of it gets covered. Uh, mostly that goes over well. I smeared a little and I fixed a little and, you know... <laughs> So I left this part in because my initial thought process was I really do want it to be similar to hers in the aspect that it looks connected or that at least it is touching. Um, and when I first lay it down, of course, I don't do that. So then I maneuver and fiddle and get things together. And of course, with the two small ones in the middle, it's not working that way. So I flip flop the um, one of the small ones with that orange bigger one so that I can get it to fit. Now I should not have left all this finger tapping and staring. <sighs> Sorry about that. You mom, um, it shouldn't take this hard long to figure things out. <laughs> I, mean, good. I wanted to break up where those white based, um, ones are the one with the little, uh, hash marks in it that I just moved. And then the one that's over to the side, which is my journaling one. And so this is the way it's going to end up. It may like get tilted a little one way or the other, but for the most part, this is how it's going to end up. So at this point, I have not tacked anything down. I'm only moving things one at a time so that I can go ahead and extend where the spray is. I need to make sure I leave the base where it is so that I don't like go back um, and completely put it in the wrong place. So because I was trying to um, be... Um, sensitive with where I put some of the dots I end up pulling out my mixed media and actually just tapping it straight down on 
um, the page. So it's going to cause like an interesting effect on the bottom. And that's okay. I mean, I don't mind. It's different. <laughs> I do like the way that this turns out. Um, I just get a little flustered with um, my trying to expand my title. And maybe I should just stop with hello. So everything is tacked down now. Not fully. Actually, no, I think I've gone ahead and glued everything down. I don't know. I wasn't sure how much I was going to tuck. So I wanted to get the pictures down and the papers down so they didn't move. But I wanted to be able to tuck things in, which I only tucked that one little thumbs up. I never know where to use that. And I have another one in the um, ephemera bits. But I put that there because I thought that, that was appropriate. Because um, I did love my haircut and color. I got highlights in and I loved it. However, when I went back to get it done again by the same person, they did not highlight the same hair. So I ended up with these weird, um, uh, you know, skunk lines in my hair, which was a mess. So I never went back. But the first time was super fun. <laughs> and it was a gift to me from my kids. Um, and well, I'm sure from their dad, but it was my mother's day gift that year. Uh, my son was, had just turned a year old and my daughter would have be eight. So I am just going around and adding these embellishments in different places. I don't do the cutout words like she has. Like I said, I believe it's probably all from a, um, the, like the words in the, uh, circles that say hello this right now I have a feeling that that's part of that um, cut file but since I didn't have that I decided I would just use what I had in the collection and so I put that shine on in there and I'm going to add like the month in one of them um, and then I've got some other little stickers over there that say the oh yeah keep it real things like that I'm going to find places for all but one of those stickers I believe and then I don't use those little um, label or tag things right there either. Um, so I am just tucking things and putting things where they go. I wasn't sure where I wanted to put the month on her layout. She's got it right under this bottom picture. And because I put that heck yes right there, I um, didn't want to put it right next to that. I thought it would look strange. I considered putting it above it, but that looks strange. So I'm going to end up putting it here. I don't hate that. I'm not a fan when I go later. I, I'm i not happy <laughs> with, when, with what I put on the top of that. And maybe it's because it's egg-shaped. I should have turned it a little more so it was more um, to the side, not straight up and down. I don't know. You know, it's one of those things where you think about it later. So I'm going to take this. This was a six inch or maybe an eight inch um, border strip that had a bunch of different words on it, just like the washi, but it's a sticker. And so it's a little less see-through like washi is. And it still had three words on it so, or three little phrases. So I went ahead and cut them apart and put love it here. And then, of course, I put fabulous where I <laughs> have the little tin foil on my head. Um, and then I put smile up there at the top, um, where I am doing my before picture. I think I must have been at work when I took that because of the walls behind me, because that is not at the, um, Harris place. So, but that beautiful tinfoil, that, that's a nice doozy of a picture. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, let's see. So now I am using the last of my enamel dots from this collection. And so I just put three down in three different places and use one to fill in the little tag hole down there in that bottom right picture. And then I am going to start the disaster of the extended title. Um, yep, I put that down sideways because I had it turned sideways as I peeled it up I probably could have laid it back down but it just I felt like it had gotten pretty um thin from where I peeled it back up so I'm just going to redo it and I'm going to put the word lovely now because these are tile stickers they don't curve they're tiles they're squared off and so instead of curving it around that top part it goes straight across I am not happy I do not like it. It looks weird. Everything else is curvy and 
flowy and I look at that and then of course May is kind of cockeyed at the bottom which I do like and I stare at it for a minute and try to decide if I can get over it and then I just take it off because <laughs> I don't like it like my my thought process was I was going to put hello lovely or hello beautiful or something like that um and either put it above or in well because of the way it was placed I ended up putting it inside and I tried other things and messed around decided that I would stick with the word you because it was small enough to where it could kind of stay up in just this top portion I'm using my Mondo Llama foam letters that Y is an X I just cut the leg off and I'm a little happier with it um, it's going in the same direction as the word may, but it's, I don't know. There's something about it. It still drives me bananas. And maybe I should have done something even smaller and put it in that little, um, triangular space between the two. I don't know. It's not glued down. And because it's Mondo Llama, I probably could peel that up. So if I change my mind, you'll see in the final pictures, because I'm recording this on the 6th and it doesn't go up until the 12th. So we'll see what happens in the next six days. So I've written some journaling in the little um, oval that I um, created for that. And I dated it with my um, Heidi Swap date stamp at the bottom. And here is the final product. Like I said, other than the title, I am really happy with this. I don't know. It just looks strange, guys. You tell me what you think. Should I take the U off and do something different or leave it alone? I don't know. I honestly do not know. But the rest of it, I really do adore. And you can see that splattery bit down there at the bottom that's a little bit different. So anyway, please go check out... Um, kiwi girl scraps on instagram and please go check out all the ladies who are hopping along with me um for scrap lift craft noon the playlist will be below and um i promise you you will be inspired by their amazingness have a great day and happy scrapping